Gamers, we're on part three of the Resident Evil Village launch day number one. Hey, welcome back, Bon Bon. Uh, of course, I am RC Styles, and as you heard, I am joined in Discord with Bon Bon. Come on over there, we'll keep you company, chat away the evening. Anyone else want to jump in on our stream, get in here and talk my ear off? What do you all think so far about Resident Evil 8 compared to the previous Resident Evils? This is the place I could possibly go. First, let's see if we can go over there to Luis's. That treasure chest. Double back and hit that well. And we'll figure out what we're doing from there. What? Oh Jesus Christ, that is terrible. <laughs> but funny. <laughs> oh baby, come here. <laughs> I could deal with that. So, 
four puppies. And they needed a home. bought me a tadpole last night he told me he bought it for me because he thought it'd be a really unique mother's day gift. lucky me so if you've been following you know that the first one that we had didn't make it. and now i'm stuck with the largest tadpole known to me so i went into pet smart last night and took a picture of this tadpole and asked him i need it let me tell you a look of the person's face words can't even describe it first of all they told me it's not a leopard frog then they told me it's most likely a bullfrog and they recommended I get a 40 gallon tank. 40 gallon tank. What the fuck, Nature Company? She also said by the size of it, it looks like it's going to grow legs soon. Eggs. Soon. Use the water too much. They like the algae. And he's gonna need a wet to dry area. He's gonna need a filter. Come back, day seven. It's been six to So this is a filter that turns green things purple when you tap the screen. <laughs> It's been seven days since my husband bought me a tadpole for Mother's Day. And holy shit, you guys are invested in this as much as I am. So thank you. We're in this together now. And I'm gonna need your help because I lost the pamphlet that came with the kit. I keep stitching my video so I know what to do. While I'm still figuring things out, I did change his water and gave him some algae blooms. We also picked up a couple supplies for his new home. And Hunter's gonna tell everyone the name tonight. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do a tank or a pond, but I'm leaning towards doing a pond. For building a pond. It's gonna be an outdoor frog. Like an outdoor cat. I love all animals, but I can't fuck with a 40 gallon tank. There's a huge pond right behind this house. I'm wondering if I could steal some water from it and put it in my tank. You know, so I can get in condition for pond life, outdoor life. Let me know if you think I should want to steal some pond water. Also come back live tonight if you need this little guy. Day eight, we're building a pond. It's been six days since my it's fucking bull, it's been six days since my husband bought me a tab. So I saw this comment yesterday asking for me to compare the ingredients between the British and American chocolate Nesquik powder. Obviously I taste tested them, they tasted completely different. So I was interested to know the ingredients and if they're different. I just look at like nutritional information. So this is the British one. I'll include like a close up just here and a list of the ingredients. Obviously, no doubt about that. Now the real question is, Bo? What? He's good? Oh my god, big surprise. Look at his old face. Okay, so this filter is supposed to... How did I go from this?
Fuck. Fake Facebooks I posted to an air fryer group and I was like, has anyone tried to cook homemade onion circles in the air fryer? Trying to make them more healthy instead of buying the frozen ones. Then Dawn was like, do you mean onion rings? Never heard of onion circles. And I was like, no, I'm talking about the onions in a circle. They're fried. Then Nathan was like, you mean onion blossoms? Yes, but just the circle that's on its own. Just the solo onion circle. Thomas was like, what, these? No. Don was like, these? No, the circle onions, just the singular onion. And Don was like, you can Google a picture. If you know they're frozen, there will be a picture. I'm like, that is true. Let me do that now. This item. <laughs> and then I got a fake face frozen. I'm not even sure I want to know. Of cheese on your baby face and see how they react. Throw a piece of how to act when you see an attractive person. Make eye contact. Now look down, hold one, two, slowly look back. Now look away. Stop, smile, scratch your neck, lick your lips. Make eye contact. Now wink. Now with the other eye. Now with both eyes. Now smolder. More fierce. Stick out the tip of your tongue. Now swallow really hard. Big deep breath. Eye contact. Now bite the tip of your finger. Now bite the middle of your finger. Now bite the base of your finger. Pull it out. Now subtly sniff your finger. Eye contact. Slowly start nodding yes. Yes. Now a little crazy in the eyes. Keep nodding, more nodding, more crazy. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Very quickly. Now look them up and down. Now lick your teeth and snap. How to act when you see an? I'm so passionate. I don't care. See almost naked. My name's Catherine. See almost naked. That's cool, man. And by it I will. You like to see homos naked? <laughs> Hmm, 
I'm just missing the one. Sorry, speaking to myself there. This is all an investment, Ethan. Do let, let me know, know if you find anything, anything else of value. Send another kind of blue flag. How to get sponsorships. Step one, make a business email and plaster this email everywhere. I have it in my about me right here. I have it in my Twitter bio. It's here in my TikTok bio. Secondly, make a here. There's my friends page. I'm just trying to cover up my. Do that, right? so you want to go and give your following numbers for different platforms. I need to update this one. And then you want to give a little bit more info about yourself and then show your engagement. Also, a lot of times they want to know your demographics. So I'm just showing my demographics for TikTok. And make a rate card. Something like this, which will tell the pricing for uh, said deliverable. Also, be realistic. If you have like a thousand followers, you probably shouldn't charge for like $500 for a TikTok post. But don't undersell yourself either and don't just do work for free unless you really like the product. And then once you get these assets together, go and email companies that you want to go work with. How to get sponsorships? Step one, make a business email and ask for everyone. And I got a four wing key, so what the fuck? Crazy, that's for sure.
got something in my freaking eye. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Take it. No. <sighs> Thank you. 
And quick question do you even like women anymore do you are you even enjoying this you don't you don't seem like you are it's getting a little confused straight man quick question the video is this i don't know i guess it's a haul this is everything that has happened this week but give you a number on how many chokers i've got and bracelets i got six Sets of gauges. You can't feel us for my kid my knees. We're not gonna talk about Bats, gold gloves, um, a couple crowbars, some spray paint. I love the red and
is Spago calling with your direct deposit of four hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you. Mia? What's, What's going, going on? on? Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? Great, now we're seeing the ghost of your wife. Oh Everyone boy. leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be the This can't be real. I think I just realized something. Hold on a second.